do you think what it feels like to do business with a German state-funded university? It's like this or it's like this. In part three, it will be revealed. I don't know what grievances you are talking about. What we could do was receive groups and more. There were no other specific requests from you. We did everything we could within the legal framework. Unfortunately, your performance here also caused displeasure in Claudia. Therefore, you won't be able to lay the groundwork for future collaboration with a new leadership. Professor Dr. Uwari Laszlo, 2017. So you already know that this Professor Dr. Uwari as the president of the German State Funded University, TH Lirdo, wished to visit a Chinese master salon during an official visit. And you also know that he said he has a good friend in Porsche. So let's go back to 2015. We arrived in the first year of our new cooperation when the new basis for our cooperation is laid in a written agreement. At the time, I didn't even know why, but this Ungwari had started sending me various projects from his alleged friends. These friends come from Kazakhstan and Russia. While he knew that I don't have too much positive emotions towards former Soviet countries, but he keep sending me various business offers. He said these were very good business opportunities, but in the meantime, he said nothing about the reading agreement between my company and his German state-funded university. Many times, he said on the phone that these offers can be monetized and are very good business deal. Despite that, at the time, I had seen quite a lot from this German state-funded institute. It was still new for me as Ungwari as a president of a German university, using his official email to forward offers from various private foreign businessmen to me. And I was only slowly recovering from last year's Porsche keys, and I slowly noticed that these projects are worthless garbages, and Ungwari is just using them as an excuse to waste time because he couldn't deliver on the contract. A year later, Ungwari admits in one of his official emails that he cannot and does not want to fulfill the commitments made in this agreement until his re-election. But let's not run so far ahead of time. So I have noticed since 2015 that there are tremendous personal conflicts exist in this German state-funded institute. Ungwari forbade me to contact his deputy Peter Yu because he described him as an idiot with problems in his head. And anyway, he didn't suggest me to contact anyone at this university in Germany because as he described, there are many complete idiots, others are corrupt and Worst of all, there are a lot of crazy Nazis in Wilda. Meanwhile, in front of me, his deputy described Ungwari as a nobody and saying that he is a kind of flying professor. And I have no reason to take him serious. In the meantime, not surprisingly, the relationship between Ungwari and his right hand, the private company's owner, Mr. Ingo Smith also deteriorated because he was appointed my company as the exclusive representative of TH Wildo. Meanwhile, he was supposed to have a valid contract with his right hand, Mr. Ingo, that was also valid for China. And at the same time, the vice president of TH Wildo, Peter Yerk, also had problems with Mr. Ingo. He described him as a dictator. The whole situation was as crazy as one of the scenes in the movie Roadhouse, mixed with hateful hate. In one of the emails, I, as the head of the private company, had to write a warning to the professor, Dr. Uwari, as a German public university's president who also had a working relationship with Chancellor Merkel, that he should take a written agreement seriously and I expect a professional attitude and focus from him. 
Many times I had a feeling that I was dealing with an alcoholic person and this Germany in my eyes lost 70% of its reputation because I felt that despite they have such high and well-sounding titles as professor, doctors, their behaviors are not better than any Uger bastard that I have ever met in my life. Just to describe how crazy were the situation then, in the summer of 2015, Bo Valley sent one Russian team to China as exam inspectors. He had previously introduced Russians as cigar traders and investors. So because of this action of Bo Valley, I got phone calls from my Chinese partners nervously asking me that after all, is this a German university or a Russian university? I I felt so embarrassed that I almost joked with him that Russian Prussian almost the same. It turned out that these Russians started promoting their cigars in China in front of the exam kids and the teachers of their. Incidentally, these Russians pretended to be the official Chinese agent of this German university. In one email from 2015, I sent the complaint to Umbari and unfortunately he showed no remorse just as Russian cigar traders and German state-funded university are the two most natural things in the world. I seriously felt myself like a master shooter in a movie called Sigari and who was always had to be ready because there were so many bad bastards around me who were always ready to take away my contractual rights. And and also from 2015, Ungwari started explaining to me that he is actually my best choice in Germany and asked me to not contact anyone at this university, even if he often couldn't answer my questions for a month now. And he also started saying that he was facing an election campaign and various investigations are going on in TH Wilda. So as soon as these things are completed, very huge business will wait for me. But in the meantime, he also pointed out that I should not take a written agreement too seriously because things are not going that way in Germany. As he described in Germany, a written agreement is not a sacred thing, but rather a kind of formality, meaning it doesn't obligate anyone. In order to keep a written commitment, it is necessary to make key people interested in it. And he said openly that the money which he asked from me is very reasonable because these amounts are drops in the sea. The other Germans are much worse than him. And from 2015, Umwari was hungry as a wolf. He wanted to collect money from me for any reason, like receive a delegation or a group of student visitors from China, or commissions for their language program organized by an external company of his right hand, Mr. Eric Ingo Smith from EBA Network. I felt that this Umwari was no longer just a white collar criminal, but rather a kind of pimp as a movie character whose name is Lupo from the movie of Kiss of the Dragon. And he considered this university like his whore. And her time is my money. You've kept her busy for 20 minutes. Do you know the going rate for 20 minutes? No. 500 francs. And this Ungwari had a kind of antisocial behavior as well because he always proudly said that his phone was paid by the German taxpayers and that travel is paid by German taxpayers and he was always very proud of it. He found joy in spending taxpayers' money. It was disgusting for me, but as a business owner, my task was to generate profit for my company and I had nothing to do with judging how sociopaths these upper class Germans were. And also from 2015, I tried to find other players in this TH Wilda because I saw this cooperation 
as a cooperation between my company and the German state-funded institute. No matter how many times Umbari told me that I should avoid other Germans because they are much worse than him, I still tried my best to find other partners. Because of Umbari, in my heart was an aberrant pimp, so I was thinking in 2015 that I could just find some normal German at this university. It takes a written agreement as a sacred thing. I tried to contact many professors like Peter Jürg, Stefan Strassner and various TH Wirdau international office workers. I have to say, slowly I had to figure it out what Umbari told me might be the truth. So I'm starting with this figure named Strassner who was sent out to China as an exchange professor. I tried to ask him how will they fulfill the agreement but in one of his emails this Strassner specifically recommended me a Chinese university with the purpose of recruiting students for Germany for him. I started to understand why Ungari described Strassner also as a dumb figure and I had this president deputy Peter Yu who allegedly is a law expert and also teaches about business law. Meanwhile he knew that TH Wirdau as a German state-funded university transferred its representation rights to my company. In front of me, he always liked to mention how they perform separate actions with China, just as he wanted to show me how he promptly breaches written agreement and showing me that he is enjoying to breach it. In one of the letters, which from Peter Yu, he openly states that if I have a problem with the contract performance, I have to solve my problems with Umbari. As if this contract was not signed by my company, and their German state-funded institute, but as a private person with another private person. I also tried to establish contact with colleagues in the TH Wilders International Office, and one time I asked them to answer my questions, and surprisingly, the answer came from Mr. Ingo Eric Smith as a private company in Berlin. The chaos that was at this German state university was simply indescribable. How can a person teach business law if he himself does not even recognize that he represents an institution in Germany and not a private person? I constantly had a feeling that I would have done better if I had signed an agreement with Juarez Carter instead of this German state-funded school in Wildau. In 2016, I invited Peter Europe to have a lunch with me in Wildau. As a businessman, I wanted to assess my chances of convincing him to honor our written agreement. I informed Ungwari that I was going to meet his vice president. He immediately took this as if I had committed a betrayal against him. He described why I want to meet with this town. I ignored it This lunch came together at a Thai restaurant in Wildau and Peter Yuk started talking to me about all kinds of things, telling me that their president Umwari is an unbearable figure here at university and can't wait for his resignation. He described Umwari as a two legged clown and flying professor, and he suggested that I need to meet the next presidential candidate named Ulrich Dippe. And as Peter Jörg said, if I want to ensure that the cooperation between our company and the university will be maintained, then I need to have a personal relationship with this new candidate. He offered me to meet Ulrich, but he didn't know that what was in my head that the last thing in the world I wanted was to meet another German professor and start the devil's circle again. I had already enough with Uvali. I had no desire to listen things like reading agreements are not taken seriously in Germany because that requires to make certain people interested. As a result of this meeting, I had no longer hopes to find a normal partner in this school and I would have to end this cooperation by mutual consent. On April 29, of 2016, I wrote the first time to Brandenburg Ministry of Education, asking them 
to intervene because we simply can't receive our contractual rights with this German state-funded university. And they probably called Ungwari. And Ungwari immediately called me. He was scared and promised on the phone that he would remedy the matter and fulfill the commitments made in this contract. But I had already indicated in an email that this agreement was not concluded between private individuals. And I want to receive my company's contractual rights. I pointed out that he did not inform us of their actions in China. Meanwhile, the right of representation of TH Weirdo was in my company's hand. Under this agreement, I complained that there is no concept and we are wasting our time unnecessarily with meaningless things. I hope that after writing this letter, Umwari would propose that we end this cooperation by mutual consent in accordance with the agreement because I kept sending him the complaints. I asked him to fulfill his German state-funded institute contractual obligations and not waste our time. Umwari in one of the emails from 2016 was forced to admit that this University of Wildo is in such chaos as I described earlier to him. In this email, he claimed until the court of auditors withdraws from him and until he is re-elected, he will not be able to fulfill the contractual obligations in this agreement. And he threatened me that if he won't be there as president, I may stay without a partner. He is exactly asking me to tolerate my losses during the non-performance of the contract. I think, in other words, it called ex. A few weeks later, I told him again that it would be better if with mutual consent, but we end this cooperation. I described to him that they were unable to fulfill any of their commitments in the contract, and I have indicated to him that I felt that this weirdo was more like a type of sit-out wallet, and he, instead of being very outraged, and started a termination talk with me. He wrote to me in his short email that to argument about these seemingly legal things is unnecessary. So he had no problems that I have described his German university as a type of sit out whoever place. It's like he just said to me, yes, we are criminals and so what?